All right, we're working with exponents. So this right here, it says 2 to the 3rd. I'm just going to show you what everybody thinks 2 to the 3rd is the first time they get the problem. And even sometimes the 10th time they get the problem. It's um, They say 2 times 3 is 6. So my answer is, of course, 6. And I say, no, absolutely not. That's not what that's saying. 2 to the 3rd. Uh, what it's saying, I'm going to cross that out. That way we know that's wrong. Uh, 2 to the 3rd is saying we're multiplying 2 3 times. So it's always helpful when you're doing these to show the work. Write it out. 2 times 2 times 2. So we have 2 is being multiplied 3 times. And the way we can think about this, that right there, that 2, we have a word for it. It's called the base. It's the number that's being multiplied. As you can see, 2 is being multiplied. And 3, that's called the exponent. The exponent tells you how many times to multiply the base. So if we're going with this one, I shouldn't have my 2 to the 3 moving. Um, if we have 2 times 2, that's going to give us 4. And this is how this is the best way to solve these. Just go one at a time. 2 times 2 is 4. And then we didn't multiply by this 2, so I bring that down. So we have 4 times 2, and that's going to be 8. We'll get a little bit more practice on these toward the end of this video. Um, let's play a little bit of what's behind the curtain here. So we have exponential form behind door number one. What's this going to look like? Well, it's got the word exponent inside of it, so that's what it is, 4 to the second power. So um, you can think of that as, as being a um, 4 to the second power, or you can call it 4 squared. Either way is okay. Um, and it has an exponent in it, so that's how we remember its exponential form. Now behind door number two is expanded or factor form. So when you think about something being expanded, you think about an elastic being expanded, it's kind of stretched out, right? So this is it being stretched out, four times four. And it's our base being multiplied two times, as our exponent tells us to do. Finally, standard form is just the normal way to write a number. If you went into the bank and said, um, can I take out four squared or four to the second power dollars, they'd look at you like you were crazy. And they'd also look at you as if you were crazy if you said to them, uh, can I take out four times four dollars, please? They'd say, who was your math teacher in sixth grade? And then the blame would be tossed on me. So you, you'd say to them the normal way to say a number. You'd say, I want $16 taken out of my bank account. Um, so those are the three ways we write the numbers. And depending on what the problem as is asking for, you should be familiar with all three ways. All right, there are two special rules with exponents you should be familiar with, too. So anytime you're, you're using an exponent of 1, the base is your answer. So for instance, 4 to the first power is going to equal 4. Uh, 7 to the first power is going to equal, what do you think? 7. Um, 316 to the first power is going to equal... 316. Pretty simple, I think. Pretty straightforward. And then anytime there's an exponent of 0, 1 is your answer, except if 0 is your base. In, in that case, it would be 0. Um, if we have, let's see, 6 to the 0 power, your answer is going to be 1. If we have um, 35 to the 0 power, your answer is going to be 1. I think you get the idea. If we had... Um, 36,729 to the 0 power. To the 0 power, that would equal 1. So you get the idea there. So let's just try a couple of examples here. Remember those rules. To the first power, it's going to equal the base. To the power of 0, it's going to equal 1. So we have 7 to the fourth power. And I want these in standard form. I should put that up here. Standard. I'll just put st form. So we have 7 to the 4th. The first thing is to write them out in expanded form. All right, we've written them in expanded form. Now I just go case by case here. So 7 times 7 is 49. And 7 times 7 is again 49. And you're not done there. People tend to add up 49 plus 49 now. That's not what you want to do because this time sign never got used. So I'm going to be multiplying 49 times 49. And if 2,401. All right. 
a to the first, well, anything to the first power is going to equal the base. And then we have 6 to the third, so write it out. And now do it piece by piece. 6 times 6 is 36. Times 6, if you don't do that, you can do it out, but it will be 216. And always when you're doing these out, just like I did up here, do them out off to the side. And then finally, 12 to the 0 is going to equal 1.